Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Friday, November 28, 2014, around 4.05 p.m. in Berwick, Massachusetts. It was a cold day. The sun came out after some snow showers. We got about two inches of snow today. Had to shovel it before going to work, and it's that's not good shoveling it, but work in the winter season and we're going to have to deal with many more of these storms. Some news to report, the Chicago Bulls beat the Boston Celtics by the score of 109-102 today at the afternoon at the TD Garden. Celtics were playing the Bulls close, but at the end the Bulls ran away with it. But this, this Celtics team is hustling and being very competitive and stuff, and they're going to probably make some noise in the next few years as a good team, I think. And also, the NFL has up the an arbitrator has upheld the NFL suspension of former Ravens running back Ray Rice from an indefinite suspension. So Ray Rice is reinstated by the NFL. Ray Rice got suspended indefinitely because of video tape surfaced of him beating his ex fiance, his then fiance, then now wife, in February and. I don't know if any team would want to touch Ray Rice right now. And also, WBZ News Radio 1030 has announced that sports anchor of the morning news, Walt Perkins, is no longer with the radio station. Walt and WBZ Radio parted ways two weeks ago. There was rumors he quit and other reports he was fired. Walt was with WBZ Radio for about 11, 12 years. First, he went. First, he worked weekends, and then in February 2009, he got promoted to the morning shift, replacing Gil Santos. And Walt's been with doing sports in Boston for close to 30 years, for about a year or so in the mid-80s. He was the intermission host for W the Bruins games on WSBK-TV 38, and he did some freelancing for WCVV-TV 5 Sports for about 15 years or so. And that's about it on that. My next subject is about the thing that Mark Cuban proposed, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks proposed to the NBA about realignment. Um, Mark Cuban proposed that the Dallas Mavericks, the San Antonio Spurs, the Houston Rockets, and the New Orleans Pelicans, who are in the Southwestern Conference of the NBA, with the Memphis Grizzlies. The Memphis Grizzlies has not been included in this realignment. Um, Mark proposed that those four teams move to the Eastern Conference, and he proposed that the Chicago Bulls, the Detroit Pistons, the Indiana Pacers, and Milwaukee Bucks of the Central Divisions replace them in the Western Conference. And the only team that's that not included is the Cleveland Cavaliers in this proposal and stuff like that. And Mark Cuban says he wants like competitive balance in the NBA because there's so many good teams in the Western Conference of the NBA. Like there's about maybe 10, 11, 12 good teams in, in the NBA Western Conference with the Mavericks, the Spurs, the Rockets, the Hornets. No, not the Hornets, the Pelicans, the Grizzlies, the Trailblazers, the... Thunder, the Warriors, the Suns, the Clippers, and a couple of other teams. And he says that for it to be evened out, because he says that there could be many as 12 teams in the Western Conference could have 50 wins, only eight of them could qualify. He, he says that for, for the competitive balance, he would like to see like four teams from each conference switch off and make it more balanced and stuff. And Mark Cuban has some great ideas, but I don't know if four teams move. I don't know if the Spurs or the Rockets or the Pelicans would like would agree with like Mark Cuban if they move to the Eastern Conference as, as well. Because you know they have rivalries. They would have rivalries together, but they would probably be in the Central Division along with Cleveland, and they would have to tra travel to Cleveland a lot, and that wouldn't be good. And Memphis who's in the Southwestern Conference, would probably be punched up with Chicago, Indiana, Detroit, and Milwaukee, and probably a new division. They probably would have to rebrand the Southwest Division, the Midwest Division, and the travel from, like, um, 
Memphis to Chicago and Indiana and Detroit and Milwaukee would be okay, but you know that that would be tough. And plus, the Bulls are the only good team in the Eastern Conference who, who would be proposed to move to the Western Conference. Milwaukee's bad, and Indiana's a down year, and uh, Pistons are just you know a fringe playoff team at best and stuff like that. And even though this is a good idea, it just doesn't work out in my opinion because why would you have like four teams that are like basically in the southwestern part of the United States go to the Eastern Conference and stuff and then four teams that are kind of like in the Midwest part of the United States go to the Western Conference. It's just scheduling and traveling issues has to be considered and stuff like that even though Mark Cuban wants competitive balance for both of the Eastern and Western Conference of the NBA it's going to even it out eventually I think in a few years there'll be a lot of great teams in the East Eastern Conference and the Western Conference will be like struggling and stuff like that well I think a better proposal is to maybe do away with the, the Eastern and Western Conference, in my opinion, and still keep the six divisions, but have like 16 teams make the playoffs in the NBA, and we got and have, but have the six division winners get automatic get a top like seed, get home court advantage, and then from seven through 16, the best records f from that. So that would be a good idea for the playoffs if they had to come to that maybe do away with the East and Western Conference. But what what are you going to do with the All-Star game? Unless if they consider having an All-Star game with like what they do with the NHL, like a fantasy draft type, which I don't think it would work in the NBA. But we'll wait and see if this proposal is comes to fruition and stuff like that. Even though I think Mark Cuban has this idea, I don't, and Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, would take it under consideration, I don't think the owners would seriously look at this. They probably would laugh at it. And that's about it on that. my take on that. And I'll be back later on the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about former WWE superstar and CFL Hall of Famer Angelo King Khan Mosca. See you later, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.